In this video, we're going to take a look at Unreal Engine 5.3's new spline modeling tool. I built this. This is Unreal Engine 5.3. It's not even in beta yet, but I built this from source. If you're interested in learning how to build Unreal Engine from source, I have a great video. I'll leave it in the card somewhere or you can find it in my, my channel. Check that out. First thing that we're going to do is go switch to modeling mode and choose create and at the bottom you will see draw spline so i'm going to click that let's just take a look at the settings under spline we have loop which i mean i believe means to to close output mode you can output output this to uh, empty actor existing actor if you choose existing actor you can i guess this is showing all the actors in the scene or you can uh, choose the selected actor or use uh, this eyedropper tool. Uh, existing spline index to replace. I think that's self-explanatory, whatever to replace. And let's see, draw mode, tangent drag. Click auto tangent and free draw. Okay. And the last one is create new blueprint. You can choose a blueprint class, existing spline index. Okay, that's the same. So you can choose a, a new class right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a empty actor. And so let's just check this out. I'm going to click around. And as you can see, I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory. I'm going to get click loop which is going to close create a closed spline let me drag that i'm going to try uh, draw mode let's try free draw let's see how that works okay so you draw i mean you you click down and you drag and it creates uh the spline or the the points itself, which is actually kind of nice. And we can close that. Let's try another one. Free draw. Click auto tangent. So I wonder what that means. So I click. Okay. So what that does is, like it says, you click and it creates the tangent automatically. But with the regular one, let's see. When you click, you can hold and create your own tangent. All right. Next up, we have draw uh, advanced frame visualization with. I'm not sure what that means. When non zero allows a visualization of a rotation. Allows visualization of the rotation of the spline can be controlled in the details panel after creation by a scale visualization property with. I'm not really sure what that means, but let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much what it says. It's a visualization of the width. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Up vector mode. Not sure what that means. Let's see. How the spline rotation is set, it is suggested to use non-zero visualization width to see effects. Okay, I'm not sure how that work, how that's working, but yeah, that's cool. Gray cast target targets world custom plane. I'm not sure what that means.
ground plane. Okay. But yeah, that's uh, the spline tool. I guess that's it. Let's see what else is there. There is, you can also, I'm going to draw a spline real quick. Yeah, I'm going to draw a new one. And there's supposed to be like a new loft. I believe that's what it's called. Or revolt, there you go, revolve. All right, so take a look at that. I'm going to move this up. All right. So we can see this. Let's move this up. And we're going to revolve this. Oh, I can... Move that over. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so this revolve. Uh, sample mode, control points only, polyline max error. Place points along the spline, such as the resulting polyline, has no more than some maximum uh, deviation of deviation of the curve. And uniform along curve, max distance. Guess maybe that's the resolution. Okay, next we have the revolve, closed path, ax, uh, axis, axis, degrees. Oh, look at that, that's nice. You can control uh, the rotation of the degrees. Offset. Step degrees. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's kind of like the resolution, I guess you can say, maybe. Explicit steps. All right, so I guess this is like a floating point, and this is like an integer. It's, it's kind of pretty much the same thing, but... This one is more precise, I guess you would say, or less precise. Height. Let's see what that's doing. It's getting kind of funky right there. All right, let's leave that alone. Reverse. What is that? Flipping normals. Revolution is done. Counter count. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it just looks like uh, they have flip mesh. I guess that's the normals flipping the, the, the normals. That's what that looks like. Yeah, I mean, it's it's flipping the normals. Sharp normals. Okay, yeah. Smoothing the normals. If I were to guess, they're probably going to rename rename these at some point. Midpoint path at midpoint. What is that doing? Yeah, I, I mean, as you can see, there's just a, pre a plethora plethora of options here. Oh, what is that? Okay. All right, I, I did something. I did something wrong. Uh, but yeah, um, <laughs> screwed that up. Um, you have revolt, uh, revolution axis to origin, orientation. See, I don't think I can fix that. <laughs> orientation, let's under advanced reset axis start. You can also add a material as you, you can add a material, UV scale, output type, static mesh, volume, and dynamic mesh.